Hey guys, guess who just won the NAWCQ? It was Tyler Tapman. Final countdown, if you remember, at the YCS Top 16. He takes it this time with windups, and he just got, you know, he just, it was just awesome for him. I mean, he won, he's special now, he gets a free trip to Japan. Um, Pro Winston made top eight, and then boom, bam, he's doing stuff with Chaos Dragon. So, I mean, it was a great, it really was a great NAWCQ even with all the stuff that happened um, people still couldn't like really record there for some of the you YouTubers and stuff but other than that the WCQ ends with wind up winning um, and Dino Rabbits and Cast Dragons topping that's basically what the top the top eight was it was nothing else um, that's it basically good thank um, good job Tyler good job everyone else um, I mean the decks were, were pretty pretty standard I mean basically you just net deck but it was nice to see some other decks up there that that um got some play I mean we saw Exodia in one of the feature matches we saw some some we saw heroes still we saw Zector they made they were up there at top tables for a while um, Grave Keepers de definitely made an impact on um, the game and um, I can't wait to see actually the side decks for the decks I don't care about the main deck as much I just care about like the choices that people chose for the side deck because I think that's really what matters when you go against certain matches. It just it depends on if you draw your side cards and how how well the side cards impact your opponent. So that's basically it. Um, Tyler Tapman wins the NAWCQ. Good job, bro. And hope to see um, the world the world championship over in Japan when my people will go over there and you know see what goes on. Peace.